This Debaco University video is going to go over how to set up a mechanical timer for your lights. Now it's important to plug your lights into the wall initially to test them, but then you want to go through once you know they're working. As we're going to see here uh, in our student series with Kira, she's going to go over how to properly set up a mechanical timer so you can ensure your plants will be exposed to the right photo period. Enjoy. So now that we know that the lights work, we don't want them just plugged into the wall anymore because we need them to be able to turn on and off by themselves. So that's why we invest in a timer for our plants. This adjusts the light based on the time that you set for it. So if you wanted to, it could be for 12 hours, 18 hours, six hours, adjustable for whatever your grow is. So the first step of setting up a timer is to align it to the time that it is right now. So I'm gonna set it to 4.20 p.m., so right about there. Next, you're gonna to wanna to decide how long you want your lights on for. So depending on how many of these you push down is how long the timer is gonna be on for. So I want it to be on for 18 hours of light. So if we're going from 4.20, right around 11.20 is where I'd want it to end. And then we have our one, two, three, four, five, six hours of nighttime. As you can see here, the switch can tell where it, the time of day is based on the timer. So it would go around and see that it's nighttime. Well, nighttime for the plants, lights off. And then turn back on and click once it gets back to the turned on section of the light. And then again, once it goes to the end, it clicks off. Then to make sure that all of your effort was accounted for, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's set for timer and not just indefinite. 